as you would know, we do not yet have the GDP data for the June quarter, but it will show the biggest economic contraction in many decades, likely to be around 7%. If there's any good news at all to be found here, it's that this decline is not as large as we initially feared. It's also not as large as what we're seeing in many other countries at the moment. Similarly, while the labor, labor market outcomes have been very poor, they've not been as bad as was expected. Hours work were initially expected to fall by a staggering 20% over the first half of this year. The actual fall has only been around half of this, largely due to Australia's initial success in containing the virus and the earlier than expected easing of some of the restrictions. Looking forward now, there's a high degree of uncertainty about the outlook and our economic recovery depends upon how successful we are in containing the virus. In our baseline scenario, we're expecting the Australian economy to contract by around 6% this year and then grow by 5% next year and 4% in 2022. It's certainly possible that we'll do better than this if there's a near-term success in containing the virus or there are medical breakthroughs. But on the other hand, if we were to see further setbacks in containing the virus, the recovery would be delayed even further. Given this uncertain outlook, we need to be prepared for a recovery, that, recovery that's uneven and that's bumpy. The recovery is also likely to be more drawn out than was initially expected, despite the downturn being less severe than expected. And there are a few factors at work here. The most obvious is the outbreak in Victoria. At a personal level, this is very distressing. And on behalf of the RBA, I extend very best wishes to everyone in Victoria. And on the economic front, we expect the outbreak will reduce GDP growth in the September quarter by at least two percentage points. This will broadly offset the recovery that's been taking place in most other parts of the country. And as a result, we are now not expecting a lift in economic growth until the December quarter. 